Yes. Uh, DM question. Yes. Can I do intimidate as well as a melee attack, or is that two things? You can do intimidate as well as a melee attack. All right. I'm gonna use intimidate first. That's uh, 13, 20, wait, yeah, 13, 20. Uh, yeah. Oh, a critical intimidate. Oh, wonderful. Oh boy. Rawr. <laughs> I'm assuming Ooh, I, let about, I assume I let out a depthifying roar. Did you give the beast nightmares? I hope so. <laughs> okay, how many hit dice does this thing have? Want to suplex this to... like a tree? Okay. Wow! It did not. <laughs> this giant thing is a. I guess it must be a. For some strange reason, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like the dragon versus the spider. Oh, wait. Oh, it, it scared of me because I couldn't hear him. Yeah, it is, a, yeah, it is, it is now, for some strange reason, it is, it is now shaken. <laughs> wow, Amber. Okay, we've got the play of the game right here. <laughs> yeah. The roar is that you that it Two sessions in Amber, a row. Uh, Two sessions in a row. Amber, Amber, suggestion, aim it for one of the, the, the prisons. What? Aim it for one of the prisons? Yeah, it's one way. Push it towards one of the prisons. Okay, one gonna, of those blue circles, yeah. I'm gonna push it into one of the blue circles. Well, I don't know if you could push it. You have to intimidate it that way. Yeah, oh, scare, yeah, scare I, it to run in the direction. I think, of it, I think it'd have to... Yeah, yeah, it's. I think you'd have a better job of that. Never mind. But, okay, Why? so intimidate, you're gonna attack? Well, they're all suggesting that I intimidate it back into one of the circles. Yes. Yeah, like scare it to run towards one of the circles. Okay, I I, I scare it back. Okay. I scare it back into the circles. Which way? And it does not. It does not fit through the hallway. Ah, uh, no, right. it can't move that way. All right. Uh, All right. Can I All still right, attack? So can I still attack? Yes. All right. I am gonna. Oh, grappler bite! Oh, I'll bite. Five. You can use four. I'll bite. I'll bite. Roll the bite. dice. Okay, roll the dice. I'm going as best as I can. Eighteen. Yeah, that. Yeah, I don't even have to look. Okay, so you're gonna grab. You're gonna grapple it, and then you're gonna bite. So. Yeah, roll your damage. Okay. Wait, was that a, oh no, that was not it. Wait, I don't even know what. Hold on, that was wrong. I don't know what my damage is. Oh wait. Yeah, that's a one d eight plus your strength. One d eight plus strength. Okay. Yeah, that's one d eight plus, plus all five. the modifiers. Yes, yes. plus like, so that's, that's a plus three, I believe. Well, yeah, right so. now she also has that fang spell that Sweetie Bloom put on her. Oh yes, right. that's really powerful. One d eight plus eight. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, I got you. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Intimidate me and my friends. Back up, shrimp. <laughs> okay, so now yeah, you actually do 17 damage to the thing. Nice. Nice. Woo. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> it's like unfortunate. Your attack itself wasn't wasn't uh wasn't really all that powerful, but through the magical enhancements, you actually managed to pierce. Ooh. All right. Unfortunately, it's now this thing's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still intimidated, or does it have to break out of it? It's inti it's shaken. Okay. So that makes it sixteen, I believe. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry that I keep repeating myself. I just want to make sure that we're doing as much damage as possible. <laughs> Yeah, no, Nobody's <laughs> blaming you, Doc! <laughs> Mr. Okay. is not a friendly man. Oh, and it is your turn? Alright, I'm gonna have to turn my attention back over to the Nightmare Beast. I have the extra movement speed. 
Yep. Alright. Oh. So All that right. means I can move far enough. Okay. Alright, so you're turning towards the Nightmare Beast. Roll spot check. Aha! What am I gonna see this time? <clears throat> All right. You look at Jaminia and you see something off. Jaminia has something off? Oh no. But I can't tell what yet? No. Okay. Well, I'm moving towards the Nightmare Beast. I want to get close enough to use harm. Oh, harm. Yes. Okay, that is... Oh, oh, okay, so that is a will save. So... Okay, so that is a 10 plus half your caster level plus... Ca okay, what do you use to cast spells? That's wisdom, I believe? I use wisdom to cast my spells, yes. So what's your wisdom modifier? My wisdom modifier is currently plus 3. Ooh, this is got this. Uh, dice is gonna have to decide this. So that is. Oh, prospecting ears. Let the dice decide. It hits. Woo! Oh, win! Oh, win! Okay. Oh, win! Oh, win! The harm spell deals ten points of damage per level to the target. So that should be one hundred and twenty. Holy nice. crap! Nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that was Whoa. good. <laughs> so, what? how's he feeling? Oh. <laughs> the dead? I know, right? I'm pretty I sure know. it would still be alive given its size. Still alive. Buffy for long. If it's still alive after this, it's not going to be said, long. Wait, wait, you said 10, point, 10 points of damage per level. What level are you? 12. 12. We're all up. 12. <laughs> so 10 plus 12. 10 times 120. Oh my god. Okay. That, that's <laughs> Don't the the dwarf. in the morning. Don't mess with the dwarf. <laughs> right? Just in case any of you wanted to do me, just remember that little fact. <laughs> <laughs> you will not believe how much health this thing has. No, way no. too much to count, I'm sure. No, maybe when way you too much. When you attacked it, this thing had 120, 119 health. Oh, no. wow. Owen! I no, actually no, no, no. one-shotted it. I won that game! Oh, my God! Good job, Owen! The night I twist. Play the game. The Not Night the Twist, twist overwhelmed with the presence of negative energy, crumbles and decays. Oh, it, crash, it, it crashes to it crashes to the ground. Night and twist. it is and it is unconscious. Oh, it's that dead. Oh, it's that dead. You still have to do negative ten worth of negative nine worth of damage. Well, I've taken care of this side. I hope you guys can finish the other side. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, need, we need to make sure this thing is dead. I am going to finish the job if Cross does it. Well, uh, Cross can take care of uh, Aimer. Okay. I'm Aim on Aimer. I'm, taking, I'm focusing all my attention on Aimer, which is what I'm doing right now. Fire Black Arrow. Oh. What? No. Oh. Green breaks. Uh-oh. Oh. Wait, Green breaks? Yeah, you're you pull back. Your you're, you're, you're so angry that you pull your bow back too far, and the string breaks. Oh no! Well, this oh, is why you got the short sword, right? <sighs> All right. Don't panic. Don't panic. All right. So, seeing this, I grab my short sword and I'm gonna charge. Over uh, here. You can't. You can't make. Yeah, you can't make two attacks. Yeah. I can't. Uh, oh. But, crap. However, you did to get me some flanking. Okay, I'll, ch well, I'll charge over here and, and distract him then. I can't attack him, but I'll distract him. Rose? All right. All Rose, right, well, it's your I'm, turn. Since I'm definitely not keen on killing an unconscious uh, magical beast, uh, I'm going to turn my attention to Amir, and I'm going to once again cast uh, Baleful Polymorph and try and turn him into a puppy and see how that works. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't want to kill him with puppy. puppies. On that. Because, I will. Huh? Because it's cute. Because, no, because I can control dogs more than I can talk to him if he's a dog. 
We yeah. can talk to him now. Yes, if, he but if he's a dog, I also will be able to use a lot more of my animal-related spells <coughs> on him. Ah, that makes sense. That's the idea. Ooh, use that and-, and I'm and a dog him. trainer. If he's a dog, I can make him sit. Oh, oh, even better. Put him in the, tell, tell him to sit inside the, the, the rings. In the circle. Well, I don't know if I can control him that much, but I can do something. But the hey, point roll, is- Roll a 20, you can do it. If I roll a 20, maybe. On hold, on- Oh man, ridiculous. and with the crushing despair, it, oh dang. This, uh, okay, you're gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Fail for polymorph. Okay, let's see Here if he go. passes. I am not holding my breath. <laughs> Yeah, that is a total failure. Uh, <laughs> oh, Daddy, I'm sorry. Were you turned into a dog? Oh wait, total failure. Okay, for for Aimer. Okay. For him. Wait. Does this mean? I just made a puppy. You turned him into a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Say that the encounter is over. Yes! <laughs> oh. That is awesome. <laughs> okay. I oh, we'll try that. Yes. 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 I was actually oh. gonna have something else next turn. I was gonna. <laughs> hey, no, I'm I was gonna gosh. finish that beast. Off. <laughs> I was gonna make sure he's dead, but nope. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're we're, we're done just going to a dog. Killed him. You turned a bad guy into a dog. I, I turned him it. into a puppy. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's the puppy. I put the puppy. <laughs> All right. Can I walk over to the puppy now? <laughs> <laughs> He's been a very bad dog. <laughs> no, I think he deserves the time. You. I think right, he deserves the so time now. What do you out think? Out of my way. Oh, 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 okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, okay. back it up. He Make sure currently... that you don't kill him, please. Yeah, he can currently only speak Lupin, but Jiminy and I should be able to understand him. Not necessary. I'm going to cast Comprehend Languages. Okay, I oh, don't okay, know that if that's works. necessary, but all right. Is this oh, actually Amber, though, or is this... Yes. And he has... not. Unless, unless he stays wait, wait, in this Wait, 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 what do you mean it's not? Oh, right, because- Owen little... said that the, that he thing. saw a demon in there. This is a facsimile. A facsa what A fake! A f this a... isn't Imer! It's a charade. You hear- it's like- you, oh. you, you hear the dog give some guttural laughs. <laughs> oh, and, 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 laugh it, and it sits you. down- it sits down politely and it tilts its head. You're going to tell me where he is. Right here. What? What? And over there. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Wait, did he ascend? What? I don't understand. Is he it's all he's, 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 he's slowly wagging his tail back and forth. What? Is he omnipresent? No. All right, if he's going to intentionally be vague about it, yeah. then I have a way of making him talk. Oh, oh dear. Oh. 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 Yeah. I have actually up as far as possible. All right, Owen, we have to make sure yours. that he's not going to move. We have to make sure that he's not going to oh, go in there. So, oh, right. I can cast hold animal. It's all right. Don't need to cast hold animal. Just surround him. All right. Oh, okay. Everyone, listen up. I may not be able to understand the dog, but we have plenty of people who can. Mm -hmm. And I have a handy little spell called Zone of Truth. Ah. Hmm. Like Everyone a within the zone cannot lie. <laughs> Jim and your sticks back. I saw, that. Back. I saw that. Get back. By the way, I'm going to have to still take a look at Jiminya with my true seeing eyes once again. Hmm. All right, you're looking at you're looking at her, and you see a you see a sort of fuzzy haze around her. Oh, really? 
Oh, dear. You're seeing it's supposed to go through any kind of illusion. Mm-hmm. It really is. Unfortunately, that's all you see. All right then. If and, you also, okay. and you also see, and you also see that her armor is glowing red hot, but she doesn't seem to be uncomfortable. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can we try now have a zone of truth cast over the dog and everyone around it. And now you guys can ask your questions, and he has no choice but to answer truthfully. Hmm. Okay, Wonder Gosh. Woman. <laughs> see, I didn't even see that movie. Apparently, it was really good. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna see it tomorrow. I'll see. Uh, I'll see it probably Tuesday. Anyway, there's a good movie. movie. So, Back to his good hand. All right. You will, you will explain oh. clearly. Where is Imer? His spirit is within me, and his body you passed along on the way here. Ah! Oh, the, oh, the, the, uh, oh, I know where he, oh, so he's in there, Wait. in the circle. He's in the circle to the right. Yes. The altar. How do we, hmm. how did that we happen? We have to have, the people who ask Explain. questions have to be able to understand his yeah. language. I can't, I can't, oh. Explain. Explain fully. Do I have to roll diplomacy? Nope. He has to answer truthfully. Yeah, so no matter what. Yeah, but... This is an interrogation. Yes. <laughs> Tell us what you know. Explain yourself fully. What do you mean? What did he do? What did who do? Really? What uh, Rin's father? What did Imer do in this place? Ah, uh, simple. I was I was figuring out the simple task of transferring a soul of one thing to another, and in this one, the body of a Rakshasa. I don't know. I honestly don't know where <laughs> the soul went. Probably Bless one you. of the lower planes. Bless you. Bless you. That was life sorry. <laughs> So, so yes, for all intents and purposes, all Bless memories you. and the fa- the father you have is right here before you. But the man himself is dead. Indeed. Very well. Uh, ask him. <gasps> uh, ask him. Was this uh, all part of all part of Simula's plan, or was this his own doing? Yes, was, was Simula part of the? He can uh, he can actually understand you guys. Actually, he just can't respond to anything but Lupin. Okay, I'll. Mm. No. Never mind. I'll wait. Well, the, so is this part of Simula's plan? Yes, I was helping her break into the official plane, and uh, that stupid a stupid jungle elf got cold feet and left. Rather infuriating. I, she asked me to deal with him. So you <sighs> so you sent the, the night wish so that on was him. you. Yes, I was the one who sent the night twist. She, I, I, I had to run it by Simula, of course, which I did, and she loved it. Of course she did. And that, that, then he, he starts laughing a little more. It's like, kind of ironic. What is? The fact that some of you are still not being truthful with each other. He vanishes. What what the the hell? Heck, sorry. You've got to be kidding me. Mm. How did did he just... How? But he's a puppy. He shouldn't be able to do anything. He 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 said the man is dead, just the memories are left, so... He could have been summoned by someone else. As well as my fairy fire still having been... He had to have been teleported away. Someone must have grabbed him. How would they know where, where he is and what's going on? So, does anyone else want to put the coup de grace on this giant beast that's unconscious behind us here? I, I said he'd let me finish the job. Burn it. Burn it, baby. Burn it. I, uh, I don't. Uh, no, we're not we going to. We know how you feel, but 
Um, we know how you feel, but this is the reason we're here to end the nightmares. Wait a minute, though. I just this wish there was a way we could send it back to where it was. Send it home. Well, your nature roll from earlier, did it tell you anything about what negative effects might happen with somebody who destroys it? I don't know, Josh, did it? Uh, no. Okay. I assume that there's no problem then. I say we That's... use the coup de gras. Gonna stop on it? <laughs> so this thing so this I thing can. is not is not going to give us all night I the person who slays in nightmares. I don't think so. Okay. But I know, Rose. <sighs> this thing is way too dangerous for us to leave it. If we if it stays alive, it will continue to plague everybody in the area with nightmares. This thing is dangerous. I know you want to send it home, but we don't know where that is. We can't leave it here, and we can't I, certainly travel with it either. So, yeah. I know more than anyone the usefulness of peaceful resolution, but this has to be done, or else other people will be plagued by nightmares for as long as it's still conscious and alive. Indeed. I can't. <coughs> Go ahead, Amber. Right. Roast it. Like, get, set, give it a give it give it a funeral pyre. I burn it. You burn it. It goes up in it goes up in flames. And slowly but surely, it begins to disintegrate. Good enough for me. At least now and they won't have to worry about it. From the ashes... Hmm? Something's still left within it. Hmm? Nope. What? Man. It's dark. You can't see. I'll move my dancing light over to see what it left behind. Hmm? Oh, treasure chest. A chest. Uh, let me check it first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that look. That actually looks like the exact. Never mind. I don't think he'd be that mean. Twenty-seven. Okay. Okay. Please don't. It does not seem dangerous. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll take a risk. I'll open it. You very, very carefully open up the chest and you find 3,000 gold. Holy but Jesus! I think that I'll just stop there because this will be the first time I've brewed, so yeah. All right, so it, it, is there anything else anyone wants to do? Um, I think I have, yeah, I think I'm good for that. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Uh, DM question? Yes. Would I be able, with the um, special cauldron I have, would I be able to do that in the carriage ride to Optimar? Uh, yes, assuming, assuming you don't hit any, like, terrible bumps or you're not attacked by bandits. Mm. How many times have you been attacked by bandits in, a, in the carriage? I know, right? I know, <laughs> but when people say things like that, I'm a coward! I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm almost not hoping coward, that'll you're... happen. I want an excuse to jump out of the wagon and tear up some robbers. You're, yeah, you're not, yeah, you're if, not, if, not, if you're, you're attacked by robbers, we'll just be like, Amber, I'll hand it, handle it, you keep brewing. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. uh, But anyways, yeah, but anyways, is that all? Is everyone gonna go on? Yes. Oh, uh -huh. righty. Where is this? Okay, where is the next? Are we all done with our shopping? I believe you are. Yep. It's oh, I forgot to subtract gold from my inventory. Girl. Yes, make sure you all subtract yeah, your gold. Exactly. All right, okay. it's like, we're, we're going off the honor system. I understand a lot of you are chaotic, but... Right, <laughs> I also want to say off game, I have these strawberries and they're huge. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, it's What's going on? Okay, so... We're now moving. We are moving. 
Excellent. I'm going to All take right. the time to try to brew All this right. potion. Hang on, a, <laughs> hang on for a second. Okay, Are a few of the jungle elves moving? happily escort you through the trees. You find a carriage waiting for you and climb in, setting off for Updamar. The driver says I have, have a bit of time before you arrive. Uh, Doc's trying to say something. Oh, the cat. Oh, the carriage comes to a halt. What's wrong? Yeah. I have to interject here. <laughs> okay, uh, specifically, why are we heading to Optimar? What is the goal? To get their help, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. And yes. Do any of you actually know about what Optimar is like? Has anyone actually read up on the city? Uh, no. Yes. No. Well, no. Um... No, Jarkana. I've never been that far be, east. What would that? What would that be? I could, what? Germania says, "Well, I know they're very isolate. I very not. No, they're, they're very isolationist." But I do don't you know why they are very isolationist? Do you know what they do to people who try to uh, get into their country without their knowledge or permission? That's why we're gonna ask nicely. It's not that simple. Okay. Uh, a little out of character here, a little out of character. When I was first rolling up my cleric and trying to think of what race, uh, Josh had specifically told me that no one had created a character of the dwarf city of Optimar. And so I started asking him questions. Well, what, what should I expect from Optimar? I mean, what kind of society is this? The more he told me, the more I came to realize this really shouldn't be the kind of place we'd want to go unless we have no choice. I think we're at the no choice point, though. No, no. Why why would we need to go here is the question. I mean, it's basically every city we've gone to thus far, they've been marginally friendly because... All we had to do was just basically go in and ask them, but Optimar does not work that way, like at all. Well, get well your, do you well, get your diplomacy to checks. The... Get your diplomacy checks ready. It's like, that's what you're built them for, right? Yeah, but you I prefer know. to go see mine. the dragons. <laughs> Uh, that's why we have the broken board. Did someone say diplomacy? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, going I think back... we need as much help as we can get. All right. <laughs> going back into character, <laughs> Owen would not want to go to Optimar because that's where he's from and he knows exactly what to expect. <laughs> hmm. And well, yeah. well, well, here's well, if they do well, you said that, that the only thing is they don't allow guests like unless they're expected to coming. Why don't we send on ahead a message? No, who are you going to send a message to? Who exactly are you trying to talk to? But all I've heard here is a plan that, oh, let's go to Optimar. I assume we'll try to talk well, to the leaders. Have, if you have any suggestions, Owen. <laughs> Considering you know the city better than any of us. No, I, I, I don't know the city that well, other than what I was trying to get out of Josh when rolling up the character. He's been intentionally vague wherever <laughs> and whenever possible. Josh being vague? <laughs> well, I never have. I've never heard of this possibility before. What he, did, what he did explain to me is that you'd have the whole country trying to throw you into prison if there is even the slightest hint that you're not trustworthy. Because... For goodness sake, they're isolationist for very good reasons. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, okay. J- Jemenia listens to this and she and she's folding her arms. It's like, well, I don't think a little. I think we've ha- I think we fought worse, but this isn't that big of a this isn't that big of a deal. We need the dwarves if we're going to fight Simula. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Let me put it this way. If we leave the wrong impression, what's to stop Optimar from seeing us as the threat and allying with Directian? Why would they out? They, I'm. What makes you so sure they believe in the adagi of the enemy of my enemy is my friend? 
In fact, they just—they probably just hold themselves up even more. Hmm. Uh, well, if it, well, the big thing is, well, if you say is the one thing we have to be trustworthy, mm -hmm. then, then one thing we have to do is be open and honest. Oh yes, because our it's group has such a great track record with that. Mm. The moment we show up at the gates to Optimar, they're going to want to know why we're there. And simply saying, oh, we're a trustworthy lot, just let us in, is the exact wrong thing to say. Well, All right. we can so honestly you're saying say we might that. Have to, so you're saying we might have to deceive them. Oh, goody. <laughs> Well, I don't we like can it. honestly say that we're there on urgent business and need to speak to the leaders. That has worked before. That's, a, yeah, I, that's I, what I I've been it. trying to tell everybody. Every other city we've been to, the tactics we've used are not going to work here. They're not. Um, so, what being well, trustworthy what will not earn us their trust. Mm. I have been... Then we need to earn their trust. I figured, I figured that eventually, someday, we would have to go to Optimar. And when somebody mentioned it like two or three sessions ago, I immediately tried to direct the conversation. Actually, let's go this place. Mm -hmm. And then we ended up not going to Optimar that session. Everybody remember that? Yeah, yeah I believe I was the one who brought up Optimar. And how many times are we going to keep avoiding it? Yeah, yeah. We have gone through most of the map at this point, and it seems like, yeah, that's got to be the last stop. But uh, ever since Josh had explained to me about what kind of society Optimar is and that Owen is the only one of this whole group who actually grew up there, mm -hmm. I've been trying to wrap my head around for many weeks of how to play ourselves into Optimar's good faith. Well, and so... I, if, hmm. Well, I'm not sure. And so? But we may ha I know this is a little weird, but we, if we can get some information out of Gatlas Town, like I said, it's the central hub for... Oh, well, never mind, we're going close I, to Optimar. I think, I think... I don't think Gatlas right. Town is going to know anything about Optimar. Honestly, All we right. have our inside information right here in Owen. I, was I going have, to, I was going I have to somewhat one, uh, of a plan that I need to explain before we get to the gates. Okay. 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 So much for me. Can I roll um, craft alchemy while he explains? Right. Okay. This is uh, a dwarven society for the most part. There are scatterings of other races here and there, but this is well over 95% dwarven for sure. But in order for any dwarf to get in, you're going to need more than just, oh, we're here on good faith. Even if you were a citizen of Optimar, when you're surrounded by many other people who obviously are not, that's not enough to get in. So we'd have to be someone who has weight. Indeed. The only way I could see that working is if I were to present myself as someone who has weight, someone who has a lot of weight. Now, this is something I had been discussing with Josh on and off over the past several weeks because I knew eventually we'd have to get to this point. Again, Josh is intentionally vague at every <laughs> possible turn. <laughs> However, I did gleam enough information from the fact that my character grew up there that I believe the option is to disguise myself as a high-ranking official. And then I would have to claim that these travelers with me are my personal entourage, my bodyguards. Ivan, in particular, can be like my... Uh, number one assistant in the <laughs> fact that he can talk to anybody and get his point across and seem very positive through it. Okay. I've been planning on using Ivan's diplomacy skill, but first I have to present myself as someone who 
has a lot of weight in Optimar society. So, first thing is to, uh, let's see if I can find it first. Uh, I have a spell called Disguise Self. Yeah. This okay. is something I've been waiting on for quite a while. I hope that I've got <laughs> enough of enough uh, skills to make this possible, to make this really happen. If mm -hmm. I might. Otherwise, <laughs> Josh has been very tense about this upcoming session because <laughs> it's Optimar. Because it's Optimar. Really. What were you if saying? If I might, me? Owen. And uh, so. Guys, she was trying to talk. Sorry. Sorry okay. to used to it. If I might, Owen, I am also able to shift, if that will help in any way. I know I certainly do not know the culture as well as you do, so perhaps it would help that you're still the head of this operation, but would it help in any way if I shifted into a dwarf? Wait, you can shift into a dwarf? I thought you only shape-shifted into animals. A thousand uh, faces. Nope. I can do that, right, Josh? Indeed, that is correct. That is surprising. Okay, that would help if we have more dwarves in the party, but how good are you at uh, bluff? Because you're going to have to talk your way through things, too. I'm probably not that good at bluff. Or maybe you can teach her some things about um, dwarf culture that she could use as, a, as some weight. It's or still she, bluff yeah. because she has yeah, to present well, herself. Well, the thing is, the more, you tell, the more you tell her about dwarven culture, the it's like I can give you uh, circumstantial pluses to to check to bluff checks. Yeah, exactly. If I can teach her things, and if she can shape shift into a dwarf, I prefer that uh, Ivan and me do the majority of the talking. But if she's yes. ever at a point where she needs to present herself as a dwarf, that that would be helpful. Anything I can yes, teach I think about that's probably the best dwarven idea. culture and how to present yourself, that I'll do that. But we still need to disguise ourselves. So I'm going to cast that spell now. What do okay. I need to roll? Okay, you need to roll disguise and you get a plus 10 bonus on it because of the spell. All right, plus 10 bonus because of the spell. Let's take a look here. And it's just automatic for me, right, Josh? Uh. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing with you. It's like a thousand oh, faces. Uh, yes. What do I roll? Uh, just roll disguise plus a ten. Okay, here's the first roll of the day. Let's see here. Uh, the second roll of the day. Sir. No, it is that is second roll of the day. Okay, so I did a listen check earlier, but okay. let's try this one. There oh, we go. Oh, oh, you're oh, you're oh, nice. nice. Okay. It's like as Rose ha isn't uh, isn't too great with isn't too familiar with other dwarves besides Owen. He is uh, she she's work her disguise is if you can look really closely you can tell that she's faking it. But uh, Owen's disguise is very very good, hmm. and he look looks and he looks like this guy. Oh, that's. Convenient. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Wait, I don't see it. Wait, I don't see it. He looks like this guy. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, very professional. Burdock Van Wright. I am posing as a high ranking official. And apparently, this guy was someone who I at least knew of while in Optimar. Yeah. Now here's the here's the other thing that, of the plan. In order for me to pass off as this Vorgren, yes, I have to make sure that the real one no, no, is Verdoc. incapacitated. It's a, his name is Verdoc. Verdoc. Yes. Verdoc. Okay, here we go. Verdoc. By the way, should we rehearse what we're going to say before we enter? <laughs> well, I'm going to be the one speaking to the guards. Because oh, we have to bluff our way past the guards, and after we find where Burdock is, then uh, we can find a way to incapacitate him. And I assume 
that we should be able to do so if he's not expecting it. Uh, uh yes. Ross, you have a question? Uh, There's something that I've noticed about this. Usually when we come up with plans, they don't always seem to go that we want. So may I suggest... Contingencies? When it comes to this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, we wing it. However, there's something that we should at least anticipate now. We come up with a plan. We expect the plan to fail. Ditch the plan. If we yeah, go into Optimar off. any other way, we are going to be looked on with great suspicion no matter what we do. And if we step out of line, then we're in prison anyway. Well, the, well, the obvious one is not is to not fight. We want to try to get through this without fighting, yes. Right, I so, hear you there. So but weapons, knowing so, Josh, he'll try to throw us some curveballs regardless. Right, so yep. weapons are a non-resort in this case, in this situation. It is very, very important that you guys follow my lead here. I know the most there is to know about Optimar, given our DM and his very intentional <laughs> vagueness of explaining everything. Mm -hmm. Roger that. You sound very salty about that. <laughs> yeah, I am a little. In, yes, I am a little insulted. You guys are kind of laying it on pretty thick. <laughs> because he likes to challenge us. That's the thing. He really likes to challenge us. Right. So, so uh, <laughs> he has been an awesome DM so far, though. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Anyway, but I mean, anyway, but, any, but anyway, um, it's a uh, suggestion for the group. Uh, weapons, do, weapons you will not use. Uh, if if if, if uh, punches come to blows. Do not do anything. Uh, Owen is the, uh, Owen's uh, taking the lead. But what if they turn violent? Well, um, I'm hoping we can get through this without that. Still, well, we have still have still contingencies. That does happen. Yes. Now, well, our first well. stop will be getting through the border gate. Once we reach the city of Optimar, our first task is to find... Uh, where is it? Burdock. Verduck lives, and it sounds like a Vulcan's name. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yes, it's like if they turn violent, we do need a we do need a way to escape. Does anyone have any plans for that? Mm. Uh, I, I do well, have an ability spell. I have a backup plan just in case for that, it's but like, I'm hoping that, I don't I, have to use it. Anyone have any spells? I do. I, I know some I people have... have teleportation and speed spells. We could use those. Yes. Hmm. The only but I can only take for I can only take for others with me when I teleport. Hmm. I mean, I could carry some if I yeah. transform, yeah. but I don't know how far I can get. Yeah, and unfortunately, blinking is only a hundred feet. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ivan. Yes. With your loot and your sleep spell, I believe that is absolutely the best way to incapacitate. Yeah, right. All we have to do is find his residence and make sure that he's not going to show himself around town. That's all I need. Yeah. And considering how wide my range of music, how people can hear it, we can even do it out of his field of view, too. Nice. Maybe. 